Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many of you don't have a digital tachometer, and neither do I. Anyway, I figured that you would enjoy and understand their test results better if you understand where the RPM readings came from. The drive wheel had one notch in the outer circumference. While editing the video, I was able to count the audio modulations of the lumps in the timeline. There are also markers for each second in the timeline. This allowed me to figure RPMs at various places in the video and compare voltage and amp readings from the meter readings in the video section. These readings were consistent at 10 RPMs per volt. Alright, watch here. This hump, this hump, this hump, this hump is each time this turns. So watch right, right here on the audio timeline. Right in between here is one full second. At 1 minute 55 seconds, 1 minute 56 seconds, that's one whole second, and I got three humps. So that's three rotations per second times 60 is 180 RPM. Let's check a different part of the video to find out how many RPMs we're doing at that point. Okay, at this part of the video, I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 humps. And if we look up here, that's 5 humps per second. That should be about 300 RPM. I have 29.8 volts. So that's staying pretty consistent so far. Okay, and looking at it here, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That one's kind of a weak one there, but that's 6. So that's 6 in between 2 minutes and 18 seconds and 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Check the voltage reading up here on the meter. At that point, I'm looking at 36.9. So 36.9 is about 37 volts. And I've got 6 beats per second. 6 times 60 is 360 RPMs. 36.9, that's not very far off. Matter of fact, it's doing a little bit of plus. So 10 RPM per volt. I've got one wire right here running all the way across, taking all three of these starts and wiring them together. And I've got L1, L2, and L3, which I'm sorry, this ain't the right color codes, going to L1, L2, and 3 on the, vol on the voltage rectifier. Then I have the negative on the one hump, which is the negative output, and the positive on the two humps. And right now it looks like it's going to the battery, but what I do, I have it going to this cord up here to this 40 watt light bulb, which means the voltage has to hit 100, 120 volts to get the right amperage. It's not a very good test, but I like to light the light bulb. It's kind of fun. Here's the meters. This is the one I have hooked up in series as an amp, and this one here I have hooked up as voltage. Oh, and one other thing down here. Got tired of waiting on the liquid nail to dry on that rubber band, so I ran tape all the way around it, and then I crossed it all the way. I put duct tape on that, kind of a redneck thing. And to give this a little more traction, I did the same here. So you get to watch it go around. I'm going to count my feet. It's, it's getting an 8 to 1 turns ratio. So I start here. It's 1, 2, 3 four revolutions with my feet. You look over here at the meters. Here baby, take the camera. Alright, we look over here at the meters. Looking at 30 volts, 35 volts, with 170 milliamps. Look at the light. I'm going to keep this speed here right now. The light's on. But you know we're only operating off of 38 volts. So let's uh, Speed it up here just a little bit. There's 50. Look at the amp meters and over here at the light. Alright, let's get it up. Take it up to about 75. There's 75 volts. We're looking at 250 milliamps. And the light looks like it's on full brightness. Crank it up to 100. And we're looking at 300 milliamps. And it looks like the light wants to blow, but what? At 300 milliamps and 100 volts, we're only doing 30 watts. You can't pedal no faster than that. You know it's not really slowing the alternator down. It's got more of a flywheel effect. Like I said, it's not a good test. You need something with a little lower voltage, so we're going to play with something else. Okay, for this test, we've taken the positive and the negative, and we run it over here. I've run the positive over the positive post of the battery. Negative would go here if I was going straight into the battery, but I need to find out amps. So we're going to hook up the amp meter first. I took this test lead and I ran it over here to the negative lead of the amp meter. Those two little white clamps, they're just holding the wire on because this end did not have a thing here. So it's a yellow wire 
running from the negative going to the negative of the amp meter and the positive of the amp meter is going to the negative back to here. So it's the same, just to save confusion, it's hooking up here, except I have inserted the meter in series. It comes in from uh, what would normally hook to the battery, straight up to the meter, then the meter would come out, comes over here, and hooks up to the battery. So that way all the current runs through the meter, that's how you measure amps. We have this set on 40 amp scale, <coughs> and we have this... Uh, set up where it's supposed to be here over in amps where it says amps right there sorry about the focus now this is the voltage meter get the glare off it there we are this is the voltage meter I have it set up on DC volts here's those two leads we're gonna hook that up right there and the negative over here because we're just jumping across measuring voltage so it's over here one problem I found out with playing around here a little while is this battery's dead it won't hold the charge and it really doesn't accept the amps that well. So, I'm going to go ahead and hook this 300 watt scooter motor, kind of like a tape drive motor. It's 300 watts at 24 volts, so that means that should be able to take about 12 amps. We're not going to see 12 amps. I don't think I can push out 300 watts, <laughs> but we're going to give it all I can. So anyway, I'm going to use the clamp here and hook this up and use the clamp here to hook this one up. Okay, well now we have those two hooked up and the little motor's running over over here. It ran for about all of about three seconds. <laughs> Looking at the meters, I'm starting to pedal. Very little turns right now. I just did one full turn on my pedals, which means eight turns on the alternator. The second full turn. Three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, we're doing about 4 amps, 18 volts. We'll go a little harder here. I got a little more trash in front of me. <sighs> no, it's just slipping. I ain't got enough traction. But as you notice, the motor's still running and the battery just drained out. Okay, if you look up here in the upper left hand corner where I'm looking at, right here there's a piece of wire and it goes down, follow that little mouse thing as I shrink the picture, whoops, it goes right on down. You'll see that it comes right about here underneath that right there and down in between the red and black wire right here and then goes all the way down here to the floor and curls like this. This piece of wire, that wire there, is this piece of sealing tie wire right here. Went around this piece of all, that piece of all thread right here and up to the handlebars which lifted this up off the wheel so we could work on it. We just didn't take it off because we didn't think it would get in the way. Anyway, so it did. It shorted out the diode bridge, melted the red test lead to the black test lead. Also, it popped two of the diodes of the six diodes that are in the diode bridge rectifier. Okay, so I got everything hooked up the same as I did before, except I have got the battery out of the circuit. The battery just kind of messes things up. So it's 24 volts, 300 watts. You'll see it'll take its own voltage and wattage. Don't think I can do 300 watts, but we're going to give it everything I got here. Right, the motor's starting to turn already. One pedal, two pedal, 
Can you tell? Both of you are climbing nice. Yeah. Let's do it again. All right. Back off, Kim. Let's get some focus. It is focus. That's all I can do. Short towel over here. Let's just use these things. Spiked out at 30. Huh? Spiked out at 30 on this one. I know it does more than that. Oh, shorted through one of my leads. It's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Well, you see, we had a problem on the last test. Is it on? Mm-hmm. We had a problem on the last test. We kind of melted this one. It kind of stuck to the black wire and it, it blew here like a fuse. I saw the spark. <laughs> Lots of fun. Let's see if the other ones will hold up. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-seven is the highest it went. Let's get a shot of the bike going. The motor. Now it's at fifty-five. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you. Thank you. 